Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 441 Z Ling's hidden troubles It had to be said that Egi's words, in Chu Feng's perspective, was a lot more reliable. Even if Egi was a world spirit, she was an outstanding world spiritist and was once extremely powerful. Even if she lived in the spirit world, she still had some understanding of this world's things and had abundant experience, grasping special methods that many people did not know about. So, Chu Feng was no longer too anxious and grumpy. He started to calm down, and he didn't randomly visit places in the continent of the Nine Provinces, nor did he go everywhere to kill the disciples of the Six Big Powers. He peacefully searched for the Tomb of Nameless Experts to refine source energy and to collect resources. Time flew past, and with a blink, days like those passed for several months. A layer of immaturity faded away from Chu Feng and Zi Ling's face. Zi Ling was more like a woman, and she became even more beautiful. Chu Feng became more masculine and more like a man. In that year, Chu Feng was 17 years old, and Zi Ling was 16 years old. In that period of time, Chu Feng and Zi Ling did not always remain in the continent of the Nine Provinces. They went to other continents, and they truly discovered quite a few ancient remains of experts. Egi and Zi Ling's world spirit both gained great benefits. Zi Ling's world spirit successfully broke into the third level of the heaven realm, while Egi had stepped into the ninth level of the profound realm. That cultivation already flung Chu Feng three levels behind. In fact, after the hard work of that period of time, Chu Feng got quite a few required cultivation resources, but to Chu Feng, the enormous amounts of resources in other people's eyes were so little that they couldn't even get stuck between his teeth. So, Chu Feng's cultivation still hadn't greatly increased, and he still remained in the sixth level of the profound realm. The two-year limit in saving Su Ro and Su Mei was getting closer and closer. Currently, there was less than a year left, so Chu Feng was also getting more and more worried. This time, Zi Ling who had failed to make breakthroughs countless number of times finally successfully entered the heaven realm. When she made the breakthrough, an abnormal scene appeared. The originally clear and sunny sky was instantly enveloped by layers of purple-colored light. Very faintly, one could even see a purple-colored bell that could shatter everything in the air. But luckily, that strange scene was only small-scale. In addition to Chu Feng and Zi Ling hiding in a desolate and wild mountain, there were no unnecessary troubles. After Zi Ling successfully broke through, she also told Chu Feng about the thought she didn't tell him before that was fermenting for a long time in her heart. Chu Feng, it won't do if this continues. Let's go back to the Fire God School. After entering the Heaven Realm, my power has gotten a jump in quality. I believe that I am able to fairly fight a person in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. I want to go to the Fire God School to plunder the cultivation resources that they accumulated for almost a thousand years. I'm sure that they will be able to help you break into the seventh level of the Profound Realm. Zi Ling sat by Chu Feng's side and seriously said, no, however, without even thinking, Chu Feng instantly rejected the idea. It was because he knew that even if Zi Ling's strength became stronger, even if she was a divine body and got the blessing of the heavens, when facing someone in the sixth level of the heaven realm, she did not have absolute confidence. Rather, there were huge risks. After being together for such a long time, Chu Feng already confirmed his feelings towards Zi Ling. He truly loved Zi Ling, the little lady. That love came from his heart, and he was willing to bet with his life. Even if he himself got injured, he was not willing for her to be injured. It was because Zi Ling treated outsiders coldly, like ice and frost. For her interests, she would be willing to use any kinds of methods, and she could be cruel and ruthless. But for Chu Feng, she could throw herself away and disregard everything. No matter if it was to struggle over benefits for Chu Feng, she could ignore her own safety to loot the resources. Facing a lady like her, it was impossible for Chu Feng to not be moved. He genuinely loved Zi Ling and wanted to live his remaining life with her. Chu Feng, believe me. I have a certain amount of assurance that I can come back with everything. 
Zilin guaranteed with a face filled with confidence. Then fine. I'll go with you. Chu Feng said. No however, after hearing those words, Zi Ling immediately refused. See? You don't have absolute confidence, or else, why wouldn't you let me go? You are afraid that you won't be able to defeat the Fire God School's Supreme Elder. At that time, not only will you die, I will die with you. Chu Feng counter-asked. I, at that instant, Zi Ling wanted to argue, but she could really not argue. Ultimately, she silently lowered her head and no longer spoke. Zi Ling, since you love me this much, why can't you sleep once with me? I've said that you're a divine body, and if you go to bed with me, perhaps it can activate the power in my body, and perhaps it can allow me to break into the seventh level of the profound realm. Chu Feng spoke again. In these days, it wasn't the first time he asked Zi Ling to do the thing between a man and a woman with him. At the start, he was only using a joking tone, but later on, he said that it was hard to hold himself back. For entire days, he was together with a beauty like Zi Ling, yet he wasn't allowed to touch her. It was simply the world's most painful torture. At the end, Chu Feng spoke his real thoughts. As long as he did the thing between a man and a woman with Zi Ling, there was a chance that the divine lightning power in his body would be activated and perhaps his cultivation could rise greatly, and perhaps he could grasp totally new power. Although he could not be sure, there was at least a chance. But no matter what, he got Zi Ling's heartless refusal. Although Zi Ling could sacrifice everything for Chu Feng, she was unbending on that single thing. Chu Feng, about your goal, at first, when you approached me, was it because you liked me, or was it because you wanted to gain power from my body? Suddenly, the gay Zi Ling looked at Chu Feng with became extremely solemn. I, at that instant, Chu Feng hesitated a bit. If it was before, he would certainly say unhesitatingly, of course it's because I like you. But it was different now. He already loved Zi Ling, loved her so much, he could not pull himself out, and he would even be willing to sacrifice himself. So, facing the woman he loved, Chu Feng could really not bear to trick her. So, Chu Feng bit down his teeth, and said to Zi Ling, I admit. At first, I. Don't speak. However, before letting Chu Feng finish talking, Zi Ling used her pale hand to cover Chu Feng's mouth, then afterwards, slowly let go, sweetly smiled, and said. The past is not important. I only care about the present. I know that I truly love you a lot and I also hope that you can know that I am willing to give up my everything for you. I can give you anything, but only not this. I have my hidden troubles, so I hope you can understand me. As she spoke those words, Zi Ling still had her sweet smile on the corners of her mouth, but reflective and translucent tears had already appeared from her pair of clear eyes. Quickly after, they became two streams and flowed down along her cheek. Zi Ling, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I didn't know you had hidden troubles. I won't mention this thing ever again, okay? I won't put you in a difficult situation. Seeing that, Chu Feng hurriedly wiped Zi Ling's tears for her. It was the first time he saw Zi Ling cry. It was the first time he saw such a firm lady cry. At that instant, Chu Feng, who was usually calm, had actually panicked. He was extremely, extremely panicky. He knew that this time, he truly put Zi Ling in a difficult situation. He knew that Zi Ling was truly heartbroken, and his own heart truly ached as well. At that instant, if he could stop Zi Ling from crying, he would do anything. Even if Zi Ling wanted to stab his body a few times, Chu Feng would be willing to. He swore to never mention sleeping with Zi Ling again. Even if Zi Ling did not give her consent in her entire life, he would not mention it again in his entire life, because to him, right now, Zi Ling was even more important than gaining power. 630485 Beft B9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 441 Zi Ling's Hidden Troubles It had to be said that Eggie's words, in Chu Feng's perspective, was a lot more reliable. Even if Eggie was a world spirit, she was an outstanding world spiritist and was once extremely powerful. 
even if she lived in the spirit world, she still had some understanding of this world's things and had abundant experience, grasping special methods that many people did not know about. So, Chu Feng was no longer too anxious and grumpy. He started to calm down, and he didn't randomly visit places in the continent of the Nine Provinces, nor did he go everywhere to kill the disciples of the Six Big Powers. He peacefully searched for the Tomb of Nameless Experts to refine source energy and to collect resources. Time flew past, and with a blink, days like those passed for several months. A layer of immaturity faded away from Chu Feng and Zi Ling's face. Zi Ling was more like a woman, and she became even more beautiful. Chu Feng became more masculine and more like a man. In that year, Chu Feng was 17 years old, and Zi Ling was 16 years old. In that period of time, Chu Feng and Zi Ling did not always remain in the continent of the Nine Provinces. They went to other continents and they truly discovered quite a few ancient remains of experts. Eggy and Zeeling's world spirit both gained great benefits. Zeeling's world spirit successfully broke into the third level of the heaven realm, while Eggy had stepped into the ninth level of the profound realm. That cultivation already flung Chu Feng three levels behind. In fact, after the hard work of that period of time, Chu Feng got quite a few required cultivation resources. But to Chu Feng, the enormous amounts of resources in other people's eyes were so little that they couldn't even get stuck between his teeth. So, Chu Feng's cultivation still hadn't greatly increased, and he still remained in the sixth level of the profound realm. The two-year limit in saving Su Rou and Su Mei was getting closer and closer. Currently, there was less than a year left, so Chu Feng was also getting more and more worried. This time, Zi Ling who had failed to make breakthroughs countless number of times finally successfully entered the heaven realm. When she made the breakthrough, an abnormal scene appeared. The originally clear and sunny sky was instantly enveloped by layers of purple-colored light. Very faintly, one could even see a purple-colored bell that could shatter everything in the air. But luckily, that strange scene was only small-scale. In addition to Chu Feng and Zi Ling hiding in a desolate and wild mountain, there were no unnecessary troubles. After Zi Ling successfully broke through, she also told Chu Feng about the thought she didn't tell him before that was fermenting for a long time in her heart. Chu Feng, it won't do if this continues. Let's go back to the Fire God School. After entering the Heaven Realm, my power has gotten a jump in quality. I believe that I am able to fairly fight a person in the sixth level of the heaven realm. I want to go to the fire god school to plunder the cultivation resources that they accumulated for almost a thousand years. I'm sure that they will be able to help you break into the seventh level of the profound realm. Zi Ling sat by Chu Feng's side and seriously said. No however, without even thinking, Chu Feng instantly rejected the idea. It was because he knew that even if Zi Ling's strength became stronger, even if she was a divine body and got the blessing of the heavens, when facing someone in the sixth level of the heaven realm, she did not have absolute confidence. Rather, there were huge risks. After being together for such a long time, Chu Feng already confirmed his feelings towards Zi Ling. He truly loved Zi Ling, the little lady. That love came from his heart, and he was willing to bet with his life. Even if he himself got injured, he was not willing for her to be injured. It was because Zi Ling treated outsiders coldly, like ice and frost. For her interests, she would be willing to use any kinds of methods, and she could be cruel and ruthless. But for Chu Feng, she could throw herself away and disregard everything. No matter if it was to struggle over benefits for Chu Feng, she could ignore her own safety to loot the resources. Facing a lady like her, it was impossible for Chu Feng to not be moved. He genuinely loved Zi Ling and wanted to live his remaining life with her. Chu Feng, believe me. I have a certain amount of assurance that I can come back with everything. Zi Ling guaranteed with a face filled with confidence. Then fine. I'll go with you. Chu Feng said. No however, after hearing those words, Zi Ling immediately refused. See? You don't have absolute confidence, or else, why wouldn't you let me go? 
you are afraid that you won't be able to defeat the Fire God School's Supreme Elder. At that time, not only will you die, I will die with you. Chu Feng counter asked. I, at that instant, Zi Ling wanted to argue, but she could really not argue. Ultimately, she silently lowered her head and no longer spoke. Zi Ling, since you love me this much, why can't you sleep once with me? I've said that you're a divine body, and if you go to bed with me, perhaps it can activate the power in my body, and perhaps it can allow me to break into the seventh level of the profound realm. Chu Feng spoke again. In these days, it wasn't the first time he asked Zi Ling to do the thing between a man and a woman with him. At the start, he was only using a joking tone, but later on, he said that it was hard to hold himself back. For entire days, he was together with a beauty like Zi Ling, yet he wasn't allowed to touch her. It was simply the world's most painful torture. At the end, Chu Feng spoke his real thoughts. As long as he did the thing between a man and a woman with Zi Ling, there was a chance that the divine lightning power in his body would be activated, and perhaps his cultivation could rise greatly, and perhaps he could grasp totally new power. Although he could not be sure, there was at least a chance. But no matter what, he got Zi Ling's heartless refusal. Although Zi Ling could sacrifice everything for Chu Feng, she was unbending on that single thing. Chu Feng, about your goal at first, when you approached me, was it because you liked me, or was it because you wanted to gain power from my body? Suddenly, the gay Zi Ling looked at Chu Feng with became extremely solemn. I, at that instant, Chu Feng hesitated a bit. If it was before, he would certainly say unhesitatingly, of course it's because I like you. But it was different now. He already loved Zi Ling, loved her so much, he could not pull himself out, and he would even be willing to sacrifice himself. So, facing the woman he loved, Chu Feng could really not bear to trick her. So, Chu Feng bit down his teeth, and said to Zi Ling, I admit. At first I. Don't speak. However, before letting Chu Feng finish talking, Zi Ling used her pale hand to cover Chu Feng's mouth, then afterwards, slowly let go, sweetly smiled, and said. The past is not important. I only care about the present. I know that I truly love you a lot, and I also hope that you can know that I am willing to give up my everything for you. I can give you anything, but only not this. I have my hidden troubles, so I hope you can understand me. As she spoke those words, Zi Ling still had her sweet smile on the corners of her mouth, but reflective and translucent tears had already appeared from her pair of clear eyes. Quickly after, they became two streams and flowed down along her cheek. Zi Ling, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I didn't know you had hidden troubles. I won't mention this thing ever again, okay? I won't put you in a difficult situation. Seeing that, Chu Feng hurriedly wiped Zi Ling's tears for her. It was the first time he saw Zi Ling cry. It was the first time he saw such a firm lady cry. At that instant, Chu Feng, who was usually calm, had actually panicked. He was extremely, extremely panicky. He knew that this time, he truly put Zi Ling in a difficult situation. He knew that Zi Ling was truly heartbroken, and his own heart truly ached as well. At that instant, if he could stop Zi Ling from crying, he would do anything. Even if Zi Ling wanted to stab his body a few times, Chu Feng would be willing to. He swore to never mention sleeping with Zi Ling again. Even if Zi Ling did not give her consent in her entire life, he would not mention it again in his entire life, because to him, right now, Zi Ling was even more important than gaining power. Martial God Azura Chapter 442 stirred up Fury Wu suddenly, Zi Ling's alluring body leaped, and she had actually leaped into Chu Feng's embrace on her own. Her little hands tightly clasped over Chu Feng's neck, unwilling to let go, as she silently sobbed. No matter who, they never would have thought that the 15-year-old young female who could carry out large-scale slaughters, who had a divine body which had the blessing of the heavens, would actually have such a weak side. Chu Feng also opened his arms and tightly hugged the little beauty in his embrace. This time, Chu Feng didn't restlessly touch everywhere. He lightly rubbed Zi Ling's smooth hair to calm Zi Ling's emotions. 
Chu Fong, let's go back to the continent of the Nine Provinces and back to the Azure Province. I want to see the two sisters. Suddenly, Zi Ling raised her little face and seriously said to Chu Fong. Mim seeing that, Chu Fong also continuously nodded. After leaving for so long, he was also always thinking about Su Ro and Su Mei, as well as his family and relatives. Thus, on that day, Chu Fong and Zi Ling sat on the exquisite chariot, and while compacting the air as they flew, they headed back to the continent of the Nine Provinces. The road of return wasn't too far, but it was absolutely not short. First, they had to enter the continent of the Nine Provinces, then go over the Tang Province, then the Yuan Province, then only after that could they enter the Azure Province. That required them to use up at least half a month of time. However, just as Chu Feng and Zi Ling entered the Tang Province, they heard two explosive news. First, it was that the young head of the Sword God Valley, Morong Yu, was killed by Zhang Tani. The Sword God Valley's foundation treasure, Divine Wood Sword, was taken away by Zhang Tani. That shocked the continent of the Nine Provinces, because in the few months when Chu Feng disappeared, the continent of the Nine Provinces was relatively peaceful, but Zhang Tani's actions doubtlessly caused huge responses. Especially when Zhang Tani was also from the Azure Province. So, that really stirred up discussions from everyone and they couldn't help but sigh. The Azure province was really going to rise greatly in power, as two monster-level geniuses who weren't afraid of the heaven or the earth appeared. But the second news caused Chu Feng to be extremely angry. He was even unable to accept it. It was that the Sword God Valley was furious. Morong Yu's father personally came out and madly searched for Zhang Tiani's traces in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Since he was unable to find Zhang Tiani, he led the army of the Sword God Valley and came to the Azure Province. He came to the Azure Dragon School that had already been flattened and did something that was utterly heinous. After the Sword God Valley was still unable to find Zhang Tiani in the Azure Province, it had actually burned down the entire Azure Dragon Mountain Range and thoroughly killed all citizens within the circumference of several hundred miles of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. The huge massacre was truly the most inhumane thing in the world. After killing all the people that were originally unrelated to Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng, the head of the Sword God Valley even said that those people died because of Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng. It was Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng who killed those people. If there had to be blame, blame that they shouldn't have lived within the borders of the Azure Dragon School and that they shouldn't have been related to Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng. After that happened, the entire continent of the Nine Provinces was shocked. Many people felt that the head of the Sword God Valley could not bear the sorrow of losing his son, could not bear his foundation treasure being taken away, and that he had already went insane and already became a devil. After all, those citizens were not related to Chu Feng and Zhang Tani. Only because they lived within the former scope of power of the Azure Dragon School, they were slaughtered. That was indeed too crazy. The thing that made people feel helpless was that to the Sword God Valley's evil actions, the Jiang Dynasty acted as if it didn't see it and chose to ignore. Also, as the overlord of the Azure Province, the Qilin Prince's mansion, they just stared as they allowed that to happen and didn't come out to stop them. They were looked at with contempt by many people in the continent of the Nine Provinces, and many insulted the Chilean Prince's mansion as trash. As the overlord of the Azure Province, they allowed the Sword God Valley to commit such crimes and evils on their own land, yet didn't even dare to say anything. But to Chu Feng, all of that was still within his endurable boundaries. The thing that he could not endure the most was still the things the Sword God Valley did later on. After the Sword God Valley executed a completely devilish massacre, they detailedly searched the Azure Dragon Mountain Range and found the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's seniors. Then, they dug up all the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's former ancestors. Afterwards, they found out Chu Feng's old address and came to the Leaning Mountain Town. They dug up all of Chu family's remains that died and they even carved curses on their bones. Cursing the owners of the remains to become pigs and dogs for all their lives and never to return. At the end, the head of the Sword God Valley brought all the remains away. 
he brought them to the Sword God Valley and even released a statement. If Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani wanted to take back the remains, they should go the Sword God Valley. He would be waiting for Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani at the Sword God Valley. If the two of them didn't come within a month, he would throw the remains into a pool of crap so that they would be cursed for 10,000 years. Tian, there's a second meaning for the last phrase. Instead of curse, it's stink for 10,000 years. Dot. After knowing about that, Chu Feng was endlessly angry because it was something that Chu Feng could not endure no matter what. That truly touched his bottom line, and his flames of fury engulfed his entire body. He hid and swore to remove the Sword God Valley from the continent of the Nine Provinces, and would make the Sword God Valley pay an extremely painful price for their actions. Because to Chu Feng, Profaning his family was absolutely not allowed. Especially his foster father. How important was he to Chu Feng? But currently, even after death, he could not remain at peace. How could Chu Feng not be furious? Dragons have opposite scales that cannot be touched, and Chu Feng's opposite scale was his family. The ones close to him. The people he cared about a lot even though there were very few of them. One. At first, when Chu Feng was weak and when someone dared to touch his opposite scale, he would go take revenge while ignoring the consequences. At present, Chu Feng was a lot stronger. So, when there was also people who touched Chu Feng's opposite scale, his revenge would absolutely be a lot crueler. After half a month of hurrying, Chu Feng finally returned to the Azure province. The place he went first was the Leaning Mountain Town. Sword God Valley, you truly have very big nerves. I will definitely make you pay the price. I guarantee that. At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were suspended in the air. They were looking at the leaning mountain that was slightly in ashes as it was made into a complete mess by one strike, and the leaning mountain town that was flattened, and the graves that were dug open. Those graves were the graves which he buried his family in. Right now, there were all dug open and nothing remained. What was remained were only big words that were formed by special imprinting, Chu Feng, you trash. If you have the guts, come to the Sword God Valley. Looking at those few big words, Chu Feng was so angry his fists creaked from being clenched. Even his body was trembling and the bloodlust in his body uncontrollably surged out. Because it meant that the rumors were true. His two families' remains as well as the remains of the Azure Dragon School's seniors were truly all taken away by the Sword God Valley. The Sword God Valley was truly taking the dead to threaten Chu Feng. Rumble rumble rumble. But just at that time, bursts of rumbling sounded from the distant horizon, like the interweaving of thunder sounds. At the same time, the sky in which the sounds came from started to wiggle, and an extremely powerful aura was speedily approaching. At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were both shocked, and they even thought that the people from the Sword God Valley hid for an ambush. But focusing their gazes and looking, their expressions couldn't help but change because they discovered that it wasn't a person from the Sword God Valley. It was a handsome young man. That young man did have quite a good appearance. Sword-like brows, star-like eyes, bright and spirited expression, both manly and dazzling and he was a perfect, slightly beautiful, male. Just from his face, he could captivate a large number of females. But that young man's cultivation strength was not weak. Although he was only in his twenties, and looking at his age, he should be a bit younger than Jia Qingming and Su Zhongyu, his cultivation was even higher than Zi Ling, being a cultivator in the third level of the Heaven Realm. And at that very instant, the young man was darting towards Chu Feng and Zi Ling with lightning-like speed while bringing might that could shock the world. Tian, opposite scale, refers to something like a sensitive area. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 442 Stirred Up Fury Wu suddenly, Zi Ling's alluring body leaped, and she had actually leaped into Chu Feng's embrace on her own. Her little hands tightly clasped over Chu Feng's neck, unwilling to let go, as she silently sobbed. No matter who, they never would have thought that the 15-year-old young female who could carry out large-scale slaughters, 
who had a divine body which had the blessing of the heavens, would actually have such a weak side. Chu Feng also opened his arms and tightly hugged the little beauty in his embrace. This time, Chu Feng didn't restlessly touch everywhere. He lightly rubbed Zi Ling's smooth hair to calm Zi Ling's emotions. Chu Feng, let's go back to the continent of the Nine Provinces and back to the Azure Province. I want to see the two sisters. Suddenly, Zi Ling raised her little face and seriously said to Chu Feng. Mim seeing that, Chu Feng also continuously nodded. After leaving for so long, he was also always thinking about Su Ro and Su Mei, as well as his family and relatives. Thus, on that day, Chu Feng and Zi Ling sat on the exquisite chariot, and while compacting the air as they flew, they headed back to the continent of the Nine Provinces. The road of return wasn't too far, but it was absolutely not short. First, they had to enter the continent of the Nine Provinces, then go over the Tang Province, then the Yuan Province, then only after that could they enter the Azure Province. That required them to use up at least half a month of time. However, just as Chu Feng and Zi Ling entered the Tang Province, they heard two explosive news. First, it was that the young head of the Sword God Valley, Morong Yu, was killed by Zhang Tani. The Sword God Valley's foundation treasure, Divine Wood Sword, was taken away by Zhang Tani. That shocked the continent of the Nine Provinces, because in the few months when Chu Feng disappeared, the continent of the Nine Provinces was relatively peaceful, but Zhang Tani's actions doubtlessly caused huge responses. Especially when Zhang Tani was also from the Azure Province. So, that really stirred up discussions from everyone and they couldn't help but sigh. The Azure province was really going to rise greatly in power, as two monster-level geniuses who weren't afraid of the heaven or the earth appeared. But the second news caused Chu Feng to be extremely angry. He was even unable to accept it. It was that the Sword God Valley was furious. Morong Yu's father personally came out and madly searched for Zhang Tani's traces in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Since he was unable to find Zhang Tani, he led the army of the Sword God Valley and came to the Azure Province. He came to the Azure Dragon School that had already been flattened and did something that was utterly heinous. After the Sword God Valley was still unable to find Zhang Tani in the Azure Province, it had actually burned down the entire Azure Dragon Mountain Range and thoroughly killed all citizens within the circumference of several hundred miles of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. The huge massacre was truly the most inhumane thing in the world. After killing all the people that were originally unrelated to Zhang Tani and Chu Feng, the head of the Sword God Valley even said that those people died because of Zhang Tani and Chu Feng. It was Zhang Tani and Chu Feng who killed those people. If there had to be blame, blame that they shouldn't have lived within the borders of the Azure Dragon School and that they shouldn't have been related to Zhang Tani and Chu Feng. After that happened, the entire continent of the Nine Provinces was shocked. Many people felt that the head of the Sword God Valley could not bear the sorrow of losing his son, could not bear his foundation treasure being taken away, and that he had already went insane and already became a devil. After all, those citizens were not related to Chu Feng and Zhang Tani. Only because they lived within the former scope of power of the Azure Dragon School, they were slaughtered. That was indeed too crazy. The thing that made people feel helpless was that to the Sword God Valley's evil actions, the Jiang Dynasty acted as if it didn't see it, and chose to ignore. Also, as the overlord of the Azure Province, the Qilin Prince's mansion, they just stared as they allowed that to happen and didn't come out to stop them. They were looked at with contempt by many people in the continent of the Nine Provinces, and many insulted the Qilin Prince's mansion as trash. As the overlord of the Azure province, they allowed the Sword God Valley to commit such crimes and evils on their own land, yet didn't even dare to say anything. But to Chu Feng, all of that was still within his endurable boundaries. The thing that he could not endure the most was still the things the Sword God Valley did later on. After the Sword God Valley executed a completely devilish massacre, they detailedly searched the Azure Dragon Mountain Range and found the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's seniors. Then, they dug up all the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's former ancestors. 
Afterwards, they found out Chu Feng's old address and came to the Leaning Mountain town. They dug up all of Chu family's remains that died and they even carved curses on their bones. Cursing the owners of the remains to become pigs and dogs for all their lives and never to return. At the end, the head of the Sword God Valley brought all the remains away. He brought them to the Sword God Valley and even released a statement. If Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani wanted to take back the remains, they should go the Sword God Valley. He would be waiting for Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani at the Sword God Valley. If the two of them didn't come within a month, he would throw the remains into a pool of crap so that they would be cursed for 10,000 years. Tian, there's a second meaning for the last phrase. Instead of curse, it's stink for 10,000 years. Dot. After knowing about that, Chu Feng was endlessly angry because it was something that Chu Feng could not endure no matter what. That truly touched his bottom line, and his flames of fury engulfed his entire body. He hid and swore to remove the Sword God Valley from the continent of the Nine Provinces, and would make the Sword God Valley pay an extremely painful price for their actions. Because to Chu Feng, profaning his family was absolutely not allowed especially his foster father. How important was he to Chu Feng? But currently, even after death, he could not remain at peace. How could Chu Feng not be furious? Dragons have opposite scales that cannot be touched, and Chu Feng's opposite scale was his family. The ones close to him. The people he cared about a lot even though there were very few of them. 1. At first, when Chu Feng was weak and when someone dared to touch his opposite scale, he would go take revenge while ignoring the consequences. At present, Chu Feng was a lot stronger. So, when there was also people who touched Chu Feng's opposite scale, his revenge would absolutely be a lot crueler. After half a month of hurrying, Chu Feng finally returned to the Azure province. The place he went first was the Leaning Mountain town. Sword God Valley, you truly have very big nerves. I will definitely make you pay the price. I guarantee that. At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were suspended in the air. They were looking at the leaning mountain that was slightly in ashes as it was made into a complete mess by one strike, and the leaning mountain town that was flattened, and the graves that were dug open. Those graves were the graves which he buried his family in. Right now, there were all dug open and nothing remained. What was remained were only big words that were formed by special imprinting, Chu Feng, you trash. If you have the guts, come to the Sword God Valley. Looking at those few big words, Chu Feng was so angry his fists creaked from being clenched. Even his body was trembling and the bloodlust in his body uncontrollably surged out. Because it meant that the rumors were true. His two families' remains as well as the remains of the Azure Dragon School's seniors were truly all taken away by the Sword God Valley. The Sword God Valley was truly taking the dead to threaten Chu Feng. Rumble rumble rumble. But just at that time, bursts of rumbling sounded from the distant horizon, like the interweaving of thunder sounds. At the same time, the sky in which the sounds came from started to wiggle, and an extremely powerful aura was speedily approaching. At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were both shocked, and they even thought that the people from the Sword God Valley hid for an ambush. But focusing their gazes and looking, their expressions couldn't help but change because they discovered that it wasn't a person from the Sword God Valley. It was a handsome young man. That young man did have quite a good appearance. Sword-like brows, star-like eyes, bright and spirited expression, both manly and dazzling and he was a perfect, slightly beautiful, male. Just from his face, he could captivate a large number of females. But that young man's cultivation strength was not weak. Although he was only in his twenties, and looking at his age, he should be a bit younger than Jia Qingming and Su Zhongyu, his cultivation was even higher than Zi Ling, being a cultivator in the third level of the Heaven Realm. And at that very instant, the young man was darting towards Chu Feng and Zi Ling with lightning-like speed while bringing might that could shock the world. Tian, opposite scale, refers to something like a sensitive area. Martial God Azura 
Chapter 443 Jean Tianni, the speed of the young man, was extremely fast, and almost with a blink, he arrived above the leaning mountain town and entered Chu Feng's and Zi Ling's line of sight. He stood in the air with his hands behind his back. He first expressionlessly looked at Chu Feng and Zi Ling, then said, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, I have been waiting a long time for you here. Who are you? Seeing that person, Chu Feng loudly yelled, I believe you should have heard of my name before. I am a disciple of the Azure Dragon School, Zhang Tani. Zhang Tani said. You're Zhang Tani, Senior Zhang? After hearing those words, Chu Feng couldn't help but hiddenly rejoice because Zhang Tani was a disciple of the Azure Dragon School. His previous actions were all for the Azure Province's glory, so accordingly, he should be standing on the same line of battle as Chu Feng. Senior Zhang? You think you are worthy to call me that? But who would have thought that after hearing Chu Feng's words, Zhang Tani's sword-like brows slanted inwards and within his eyes, layers of killing intent emerged. Senior Zhang, could it be that I've offended you in some place? Chu Feng asked, puzzledly. It was the first time he met Zhang Tani, so there shouldn't be any conflicts. Humph. You, Chu Feng, angered the Lingyun school causing my Azure Dragon School to be flattened. The foundation of over a thousand years from my seniors all destroyed in an instant. Do you even feel shame by saying you are a disciple of the Azure Dragon School? Do you feel shame by calling me senior? I, Zhang Tani, will clean house for the Azure Dragon School and remove an unfilial disciple such as you. As he spoke, the killing intent in Zhang Tani's eyes became denser. His left hand grasped air and a bow formed, while his right hand pulled air and an arrow formed. Quickly after, his arms pulled and ten thousand lights explosively shot out, covering the sky and sun, and forced their way towards Chu Feng. What Zhang Tianyi used was the martial skill of the Azure Dragon School, the Bow of Hundred Transformations. Rumble 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 When the Bow of Hundred Transformations reached Chu Feng's current level, it would definitely not be counted as a strong martial skill, but when Zhang Tani used it, it absolutely possessed might of destruction. Ten thousand arrows flew in the air and their surrounding space wiggled. Black lines appeared from the places they passed, as if even the sky was going to be pierced through. Its power did not allow for any underestimation. His strength is actually this strong? At that instant, the eyes of Chu Feng, who similarly almost perfected the bow of hundred transformations from cultivating, couldn't help but light up and slightly furrowed his brows, because he discovered that Zhang Tani's battle power was really terrifying. Even if it was a martial skill like the bow of hundred transformations, in his hands, he could still display extremely terrifying power. If it was said that the hundred-faced old man with cultivation in the third level of the heaven realm could be counted as the king within those in the third level of the heaven realm, then Zhang Tianyi would be the king within kings. His battle power was many times stronger than the hundred-faced old man. Clean house? You truly have quite some tone there. I would rather like to experience what abilities you have to dare to say such big words. Just at that time, Zi Ling made her move. As she willed, boundless blue-colored spirit formation surged out like the tide and several spirit formation walls were condensed and they formed in the air, splitting the sky. The spirit formation walls were half-transparent and blue-colored. With the sunlight shining, they were as brilliant as crystals and extremely beautiful. The most important part was that Zi Ling's blue-colored spirit formations were not to be underestimated. They gave off feelings of indestructibility. Bang 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 bang. However, as Zhang Tani's arrows from the Bow of Hundred Transformations came flying quickly, the originally indestructible blue-colored spirit formations were shattered like a glass by the ten thousand lights. The pieces fell from the sky and disappeared quickly after. How is that possible? He can actually break my spirit formations? At that instant, not to mention Chu Feng, even Zi Ling's little face changed and her mouth slightly widened. Shock emerged into her pair of beautiful eyes. Who was Zi Ling? She was a divine body. Especially after stepping into the heaven realm, 
Zeling's power could not be comparable to when she was in the ninth level of the profound realm. According to her estimations, those in the fourth level of the heaven realm would absolutely not be able to defeat her. If she used her full strength, those in the fifth level of the heaven realm would also not be able to defeat her. She could even have a fight with those in the sixth level of the heaven realm. That was the area she was strong in. Her overwhelming battle power was not the slightest bit inferior to Chu Feng. It could even be superior. But what was the situation in front of their eyes? Zhang Tiani was clearly only in the third level of the heaven realm, but he had actually been able to easily break open Zi Ling's spirit formations. What did that mean? It meant that Zhang Tiani's battle was very horrifying as well, and it at least far surpassed the fourth level of the heaven realm possibly even comparable to the fifth level of the heaven realm. You do have quite some methods. Facing such a powerful and intrepid Zhang Tiani, Zi Ling had no choice but to seriously treat it. She flipped her palm, and the exquisite chariot with overbearing might appeared in her hand. Afterwards, she threw it into the air as it rapidly expanded and appeared in front of Chu Feng and Zi Ling. Dang 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 dang, it had to be said that Zhang Tani's attacks were truly very strong. Even with the elite armament, the exquisite chariot, blocking them, when the golden-colored arrows collided into the exquisite chariot, they would still make sounds of steel banging into one another, and they even gradually pushed the exquisite chariot back. Go! Suddenly, Zi Ling explosively yelled and the exquisite chariot suddenly drew closer to Zhang Tani. With peerless might, as it went over the raptured space, it rushed towards him. What a good chariot elite armament. Coincidentally, I'm lacking a vehicle. I'll take this. However, when facing the brutally strong exquisite chariot, Zhang Tiani was laughing loudly. Quickly afterwards, he waved his big sleeve, his hand formed a shape of an eagle's claw, and he abruptly extended it. A layer of boundless heaven power came flying out formed a huge hand that was dozens of meters big, and grabbed the exquisite chariot into his hand. Crap. At that instant, Zi Ling hiddenly cursed, because she astonishedly discovered that Zhang Tiani's power was really too strong. His power far surpassed her expectations. At that instant, Zhang Tiani was fighting against the power of the exquisite chariot and wanted to forcibly subdue the exquisite chariot then take it for himself. World Spirit, go, in that situation, Zi Ling willed, and a spirit formation gate appeared in the air. The fairy spirit world world spirit also walked out of it. After the absorption of source energy in the past period of time as well as with its own cultivation, the world spirit from the spirit world's cultivation rose greatly and had risen into the third level of the heaven realm. In addition to the world spirit's special power, it was far stronger than ordinary cultivators. Its battle power was even comparable to the fourth level of the heaven realm. At that moment, the world spirit flew out, and while holding a golden-colored longsword as well as with its unique atmosphere, it unhesitantly attacked to kill Zhang Tiani. This is a world spirit? Indeed, an interesting being. Good timing. Allow me to experience how fearless and strong the legendary beings that come from the so-called spirit world are. Facing the world spirit that was attacking him head-on, Zhang Tiani was still not afraid in the slightest. With one hand, he was still condensing heaven power and tightly clasping the struggling exquisite chariot in mid-air, while the other hand suddenly clenched, and with the methods of the Bow of Hundred Transformations, he condensed out a golden-colored longsword and was facing the fairy spirit world world spirit for a battle with one hand. 6304858B9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 443 Zhang Tiani The speed of the young man was extremely fast, and almost with a blink, he arrived above the leaning mountain town and entered Chu Feng's and Zi Ling's line of sight. He stood in the air with his hands behind his back. He first expressionlessly looked at Chu Feng and Zi Ling, then said, Chu Feng, Zi Ling, I have been waiting a long time for you here. Who are you? Seeing that person, Chu Feng loudly yelled. I believe you should have heard of my name before. I am a disciple of the Azure Dragon School, Zhang Tani. Zhang Tani said. You're Zhang Tani, Senior Zhang? 
After hearing those words, Chu Feng couldn't help but hiddenly rejoice because Zhang Tiani was a disciple of the Azure Dragon School. His previous actions were all for the Azure Province's glory, so accordingly, he should be standing on the same line of battle as Chu Feng. Senior Zhang? You think you are worthy to call me that? But who would have thought that after hearing Chu Feng's words, Zhang Tiani's sword-like brows slanted inwards and within his eyes, layers of killing intent emerged. Senior Zhang, could it be that I've offended you in some place? Chu Feng asked, puzzledly. It was the first time he met Zhang Tiani, so there shouldn't be any conflicts. Humph. You, Chu Feng, angered the Lingyun school, causing my Azure Dragon school to be flattened. The foundation of over a thousand years from my seniors all destroyed in an instant. Do you even feel shame by saying you are a disciple of the Azure Dragon School? Do you feel shame by calling me senior? I, Zhang Tiani, will clean house for the Azure Dragon School and remove an unfilial disciple such as you. As he spoke, the killing intent in Zhang Tiani's eyes became denser. His left hand grasped air and a bow formed, while his right hand pulled air and an arrow formed. Quickly after, his arms pulled and ten thousand lights explosively shot out, covering the sky and sun, and forced their way towards Chu Feng. What Zhang Tiani used was the martial skill of the Azure Dragon School, the Bow of Hundred Transformations. Rumble 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 When the Bow of Hundred Transformations reached Chu Feng's current level, it would definitely not be counted as a strong martial skill, but when Zhang Tiani used it, it absolutely possessed might of destruction. Ten thousand arrows flew in the air and their surrounding space wiggled. Black lines appeared from the places they passed, as if even the sky was going to be pierced through. Its power did not allow for any underestimation. His strength is actually this strong? At that instant, the eyes of Chu Feng, who similarly almost perfected the bow of hundred transformations from cultivating, couldn't help but light up and slightly furrowed his brows, because he discovered that Zhang Tiani's battle power was really terrifying. Even if it was a martial skill like the Bow of Hundred Transformations, in his hands, he could still display extremely terrifying power. If it was said that the hundred-faced old man with cultivation in the third level of the Heaven Realm could be counted as the king within those in the third level of the Heaven Realm, then Zhang Tiani would be the king within kings. His battle power was many times stronger than the hundred-faced old man. Clean house? You truly have quite some tone there. I would rather like to experience what abilities you have to dare to say such big words. Just at that time, Zi Ling made her move. As she willed, boundless blue-colored spirit formation surged out like the tide and several spirit formation walls were condensed and they formed in the air, splitting the sky. The spirit formation walls were half-transparent and blue-colored. With the sunlight shining, they were as brilliant as crystals and extremely beautiful. The most important part was that Zi Ling's blue-colored spirit formations were not to be underestimated. They gave off feelings of indestructibility. Bang 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 bang. However, as Zhang Tiani's arrows from the Bow of Hundred Transformations came flying quickly, the originally indestructible blue-colored spirit formations were shattered like a glass by the ten thousand lights. The pieces fell from the sky and disappeared quickly after. How is that possible? He can actually break my spirit formations? At that instant, not to mention Chu Feng, even Zi Ling's little face changed and her mouth slightly widened. Shock emerged into her pair of beautiful eyes. Who was Zi Ling? She was a divine body. Especially after stepping into the heaven realm, Zi Ling's power could not be comparable to when she was in the ninth level of the profound realm. According to her estimations, those in the fourth level of the Heaven Realm would absolutely not be able to defeat her. If she used her full strength, those in the fifth level of the Heaven Realm would also not be able to defeat her. She could even have a fight with those in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. That was the area she was strong in. Her overwhelming battle power was not the slightest bit inferior to Chu Feng. It could even be superior. But what was the situation in front of their eyes? Zhang Tiani was clearly only in the third level of the Heaven Realm, but
but he had actually been able to easily break open Zi Ling's spirit formations. What did that mean? It meant that Zhang Tani's battle was very horrifying as well, and it at least far surpassed the fourth level of the Heaven Realm, possibly even comparable to the fifth level of the Heaven Realm. You do have quite some methods. Facing such a powerful and intrepid Zhang Tani, Zi Ling had no choice but to seriously treat it. She flipped her palm, and the exquisite chariot with overbearing might appeared in her hand. Afterwards, she threw it into the air as it rapidly expanded and appeared in front of Chu Feng and Zi Ling. Dang 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 dang, it had to be said that Zhang Tani's attacks were truly very strong. Even with the elite armament, the exquisite chariot, blocking them, when the golden-colored arrows collided into the exquisite chariot, they would still make sounds of steel banging into one another, and they even gradually pushed the exquisite chariot back. Go! Suddenly, Zi Ling explosively yelled and the exquisite chariot suddenly drew closer to Zhang Tani. With peerless might, as it went over the raptured space, it rushed towards him. What a good chariot elite armament! Coincidentally, I'm lacking a vehicle. I'll take this. However, when facing the brutally strong exquisite chariot, Zhang Tani was laughing loudly. Quickly afterwards, he waved his big sleeve, his hand formed a shape of an eagle's claw, and he abruptly extended it. A layer of boundless heaven power came flying out, formed a huge hand that was dozens of meters big, and grabbed the exquisite chariot into his hand. Crap. At that instant, Zi Ling hiddenly cursed, because she astonishedly discovered that Zhang Tani's power was really too strong. His power far surpassed her expectations. At that instant, Zhang Tani was fighting against the power of the exquisite chariot and wanted to forcibly subdue the exquisite chariot then take it for himself. World Spirit, go, in that situation, Zi Ling willed, and a spirit formation gate appeared in the air. The fairy spirit world world spirit also walked out of it. After the absorption of source energy in the past period of time as well as with its own cultivation, the world spirit from the spirit world's cultivation rose greatly and had risen into the third level of the heaven realm. In addition to the world spirit's special power, it was far stronger than ordinary cultivators. Its battle power was even comparable to the fourth level of the heaven realm. At that moment, the world spirit flew out, and while holding a golden-colored longsword as well as with its unique atmosphere, it unhesitantly attacked to kill Zhang Tani. This is a world spirit? Indeed, an interesting being. Good timing. Allow me to experience how fearless and strong the legendary beings that come from the so-called spirit world are. Facing the world spirit that was attacking him head-on, Zhang Tani was still not afraid in the slightest. With one hand, he was still condensing heaven power and tightly clasping the struggling exquisite chariot in mid-air, while the other hand suddenly clenched, and with the methods of the bow of hundred transformations, he condensed out a golden-colored longsword and was facing the fairy spirit world world spirit for a battle with one hand. Martial God Azura Chapter 444 Divine Body Whoosh 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 The fairy spirit world world spirit was indeed very powerful. Radiance swirled around her body, and she seemed to be as holy as a saint. The golden-colored glare of the sword endlessly danced in the air. Not only was it spectacular and eye-grabbing, the might of the attacks were exceptionally powerful as well. But it was useless. Zhang Tani also had exceptional sword skills. While holding the Heaven Power Gold Sword, condensed by the Bow of Hundred Transformations, he had used only one hand to block the attacks of the fairy spirit world world spirit. Also, he was very quick. With the spin of his sword tip, he went from passive to aggressive and counterattacked the fairy world spirit. His sword techniques were unique and extremely overbearing. Very quickly, he continuously forced the fairy spirit world world spirit back and dangers started to surround it. Eggy, lend your power to me. Seeing that, Chu Feng explosively yelled and Eggy also did not hesitate. She hurriedly lent her cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm to Chu Feng. After receiving Eggy's cultivation, in Chu Feng's eyes, golden-colored lightning flashed and his aura rapidly rose. It infinitely neared the heaven realm. 
Quickly afterwards, blue-colored lightning appeared and after the blue-colored lightning appeared, it quickly interweaved with the golden-colored lightning and formed a strange pattern on Chu Feng's pupils. At the same time, Chu Feng's aura had broke into the heaven realm. According to logic, with Chu Feng's lightning power and while borrowing Eggy's cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm, he should have totally been able to break into the second level of the heaven realm, but for some reason, he could only enter the first level of the heaven realm while two lightnings overlaid. Facing that phenomenon, Chu Feng and Eggy, and also Zi Ling, all contemplated it for a very long time. At the end, they guessed that it was very possibly because the binding of the heaven realm was too big, in addition, it was power that Chu Feng's borrowed to use, and it wasn't his own cultivation, so it weakened the power of the lightnings. If Chu Feng personally entered the ninth level of the profound realm, perhaps that binding would be broken through and he could rely on the two lightnings to step into the second level of the heaven realm. Although it was only a guess, no matter what was said, even if he was in the first level of the heaven realm, Chu Feng's power was also not comparable to before. Especially when he grasped the elite armament, Chu Feng's battle power was already comparable to the fourth level of the Heaven Realm. Whoosh. So, after Chu Feng raised his cultivation, he stepped on the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, held the Azure Ghost Axe, and attacked Zhang Tani. Hmm, he abruptly waved the axe, and a black-colored blade of light came flying over. But Zhang Tiani was still holding the exquisite chariot with one hand, and he used the other hand to stop Chu Feng's black-colored blade of light. Bang, however, Zhang Tiani underestimated the power of Chu Feng's azure ghost axe. In the instant the two collided together, the heaven power gold sword in Zhang Tiani's hand instantly cracked. It was unable to stop the might of the black-colored blade of light, and it shattered from stress. But Zhang Tani was absolutely not an incapable ordinary person. Although he felt quite surprised, he did not panic too much. He leaped to the side and dodged Chu Feng's black-colored blade of light. Haha, <laughs> your elite armament is quite nice. I'll take it as well. After dodging Chu Feng's attack, Zhang Tani loudly laughed and rushed towards Chu Feng. Boom 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 when Zhang Tani came up to Chu Feng, there was an extra wooden sword that had floating light swirling around it in his hand. The power of the wooden sword was extremely strong and it was only a bit weaker than Chu Feng's azure ghost axe. It was the foundation treasure of the sword god valley, the elite armament divine wood sword. Whoosh 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 whoosh. Dang 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 dang. Zhang Tani was already ridiculously powerful. With a casual condensation of a heaven power gold sword, he could suppress a world spirit from the fairy spirit world. Currently, while holding the elite armament, his strength greatly increased even more. Symbols of light around the sword ceaselessly appeared. One wave overlaying another, they endlessly swept towards Chu Feng and even Chu Feng could only hold them back but without any power to counterattack. He was constantly forced back by Zhang Tani's suppression. Senior Zhang, you and I were originally from the same school. Right now, we should be combining our powers to fight against the outside. Why is there a need for infighting? In reality, Chu Feng did not use his full power because he truly didn't want to fight Zhang Tani to the death. Chu Feng, a mountain, cannot hold two tigers. Do you not understand such simple logic? Right now, in the continent of the nine provinces, when I'm mentioned, you would be thought of. People always mention and discuss you and me. But let me tell you. There can only be one strongest genius in the continent of the nine provinces. It is me, Zhang Tani. And the only way to let them know that I'm stronger than you. There is only one way, it is to kill you. Zhang Tani was extremely ruthless. Every single strike was fatal. He was truly aiming to take Chu Feng's life. After hearing those words, a cold glare also flashed in Chu Feng's eyes as he coldly said, Since it is like so, Senior Zhang, you cannot blame me for ignoring the feelings of camaraderie. After speaking, faint green-colored armor of radiance suddenly appeared on Chu Feng's body. Coincidentally, white-colored fog also surrounded him and appeared, instantly enveloping Zhang Tani within. This is? Illusion formation. 
However, the thing that caused Chu Feng to be speechless was that even though Zhang Tiani wasn't a world spiritist, his reactions were very sharp and his will was extremely firm. He had actually instantly saw what Chu Feng used was an illusion formation and wasn't deceived by it. The divine wood sword in his hand shot out light in all directions and layers of even fiercer attacks started exploding out and endlessly pressed towards Chu Feng. Damn it! How is he able to break open my illusion formation? At that instant, Chu Feng tightly furrowed his brows. Facing Zhang Tani's attacks that were getting fiercer and fiercer, the current him was indeed unable to hold them back. He hurriedly used the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, and wanted to evade them. Want to escape? Your azure ghost axe is mine. But what Chu Feng did not expect was as he used the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, two lines of blue-colored flames rose from under Zhang Tani's feet and his speed had actually immediately multiplied. Like a shadow, he came up to Chu Feng, and even his dragon traveling through nine heavens was unable to get rid of him. Seeing Zhang Tani's attacks, which dazzled eyes, came at him head on, even Chu Feng's complexion couldn't help but greatly changed, because at that instant, he felt the threat of death. Not only was Zhang Tani's battle power extremely strong, the methods he grasped was no weaker than his. He was simply the most terrifying opponent Chu Feng had ever met in his life within the young generation. Chu Feng, back. In the moment of life and death, Ziling appeared in front of Chu Feng like a ghost. At that instant, a purple-colored aura surrounded Ziling's body. Although she was still in the first level of the Heaven Realm, she was many times stronger than before. Especially her purple-colored huge bell. It already appeared from Ziling's offerings, and with divine power, she pressed towards Zhang Tani. You indeed grasp special methods, but you are still unable to block me. Facing Zi Ling, who used her full strength, Zhang Tiani was still not afraid. As he madly laughed, a blue-colored aura appeared around his entire body. The blue-colored aura surrounded him and, like armor, protected him within. Quickly afterwards, the blue-colored aura had actually rapidly changed and became blue-colored flames. Correct, flames. The scorching feeling did indeed belong to flames, without a doubt. They were like flames that could burn everything, and they were surging around Zhang Tiani's body. The blue-colored flames were unable to injure him because the blue-colored flames were originally one with him. They came out from inside his body. The most important thing was that as the blue-colored flames appeared, Zhang Tiani's battle power had instantly rose again. The powerful feeling he gave off had already surpassed Zi Ling. This terrifying special power. It is possible that he is also a divine body? At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were both astonished because the special power of the blue-colored flames was indeed extremely similar to Zi Ling's unique purple-colored aura. They were similarly powerful, they were similarly terrifying, they similarly had overwhelming battle power, and they similarly grasped extremely combat techniques. It simply corresponded infinitely with a divine body. 630485 Beft B9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 444 Divine Body Whoosh 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 The Fairy Spirit World World Spirit was indeed very powerful. Radiance swirled around her body and she seemed to be as holy as a saint. The golden-colored glare of the sword endlessly danced in the air. Not only was it spectacular and eye-grabbing, the might of the attacks were exceptionally powerful as well but it was useless. Zhang Tani also had exceptional sword skills. While holding the Heaven Power Gold Sword, condensed by the Bow of Hundred Transformations, he had used only one hand to block the attacks of the Fairy Spirit World World Spirit. Also, he was very quick. With the spin of his sword tip, he went from passive to aggressive and counterattacked the Fairy World Spirit. His sword techniques were unique and extremely overbearing. Very quickly, he continuously forced the fairly spirit world world spirit back and dangers started to surround it. Eggy, lend your power to me. Seeing that, Chu Feng explosively yelled and Eggy also did not hesitate. She hurriedly lent her cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm to Chu Feng. After receiving Eggy's cultivation, 
In Chu Feng's eyes, golden-colored lightning flashed and his aura rapidly rose. It infinitely neared the heaven realm. Quickly afterwards, blue-colored lightning appeared and after the blue-colored lightning appeared, it quickly interweaved with the golden-colored lightning and formed a strange pattern on Chu Feng's pupils. At the same time, Chu Feng's aura had broken into the heaven realm. According to logic, with Chu Feng's lightning power and while borrowing Eggy's cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm, he should have totally been able to break into the second level of the heaven realm, but for some reason, he could only enter the first level of the heaven realm while two lightnings overlaid. Facing that phenomenon, Chu Feng and Eggy, and also Zi Ling, all contemplated it for a very long time. At the end, they guessed that it was very possibly because the binding of the heaven realm was too big, in addition, it was power that Chu Fangs borrowed to use, and it wasn't his own cultivation, so it weakened the power of the lightnings. If Chu Feng personally entered the ninth level of the profound realm, perhaps that binding would be broken through and he could rely on the two lightnings to step into the second level of the heaven realm. Although it was only a guess, no matter what was said, even if he was in the first level of the heaven realm, Chu Feng's power was also not comparable to before. Especially when he grasped the elite armament, Chu Feng's battle power was already comparable to the fourth level of the heaven realm. Whoosh. So, after Chu Feng raised his cultivation, he stepped on the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, held the azure ghost axe, and attacked Zhang Tani. Hmm, he abruptly waved the axe, and a black-colored blade of light came flying over. But Zhang Tiani was still holding the exquisite chariot with one hand, and he used the other hand to stop Chu Feng's black-colored blade of light. Bang, however, Zhang Tiani underestimated the power of Chu Feng's azure ghost axe. In the instant, the two collided together, the heaven power gold sword in Zhang Tiani's hand instantly cracked. It was unable to stop the might of the black-colored blade of light, and it shattered from stress. But Zhang Tiani was absolutely not an incapable ordinary person. Although he felt quite surprised, he did not panic too much. He leaped to the side and dodged Chu Feng's black-colored blade of light. Haha, <laughs> your elite armament is quite nice. I'll take it as well. After dodging Chu Feng's attack, Zhang Tiani loudly laughed and rushed towards Chu Feng. Boom 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 when Zhang Tiani came up to Chu Feng, there was an extra wooden sword that had floating light swirling around it in his hand. The power of the wooden sword was extremely strong and it was only a bit weaker than Chu Feng's azure ghost axe. It was the foundation treasure of the sword god valley, the elite armament divine wood sword. Whoosh 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 whoosh. Dang 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 dang. Zhang Tani was already ridiculously powerful. With a casual condensation of a heaven power gold sword, he could suppress a world spirit from the fairy spirit world. Currently, while holding the elite armament, his strength greatly increased even more. Symbols of light around the sword ceaselessly appeared. One wave overlaying another, they endlessly swept towards Chu Feng and even Chu Feng could only hold them back but without any power to counterattack. He was constantly forced back by Zhang Tani's suppression. Senior Zhang, you and I were originally from the same school. Right now, we should be combining our powers to fight against the outside. Why is there a need for infighting? In reality, Chu Feng did not use his full power because he truly didn't want to fight Zhang Tiani to the death. Chu Feng, a mountain, cannot hold two tigers. Do you not understand such simple logic? Right now, in the continent of the Nine Provinces, when I'm mentioned, you would be thought of. People always mention and discuss you and me. But let me tell you. There can only be one strongest genius in the continent of the Nine Provinces. It is me, Zhang Tiani. And the only way to let them know that I'm stronger than you. There is only one way, it is to kill you. Zhang Tiani was extremely ruthless. Every single strike was fatal. He was truly aiming to take Chu Feng's life. After hearing those words, a cold glare also flashed in Chu Feng's eyes as he coldly said, Since it is like so, Senior Zhang, you cannot blame me for ignoring the feelings of camaraderie. After speaking, faint green-colored armor of radiance suddenly appeared on Chu Feng's body. 
Coincidentally, white-colored fog also surrounded him and appeared, instantly enveloping Zhang Tianyi within. This is illusion formation. However, the thing that caused Chu Feng to be speechless was that even though Zhang Tianyi wasn't a world spiritist, his reactions were very sharp and his will was extremely firm. He had actually instantly saw what Chu Feng used was an illusion formation and wasn't deceived by it. The divine wood sword in his hand shot out light in all directions and layers of even fiercer attacks started exploding out and endlessly pressed towards Chu Feng. Damn it! How was he able to break open my illusion formation? At that instant, Chu Feng tightly furrowed his brows. Facing Zhang Tianyi's attacks that were getting fiercer and fiercer, the current him was indeed unable to hold them back. He hurriedly used the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, and wanted to evade them. Want to escape? Your azure ghost axe is mine. But what Chu Feng did not expect was as he used the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, two lines of blue-colored flames rose from under Zhang Tianyi's feet and his speed had actually immediately multiplied. Like a shadow, he came up to Chu Feng, and even his dragon traveling through nine heavens was unable to get rid of him. Seeing Zhang Tianyi's attacks, which dazzled eyes, came at him head-on, even Chu Feng's complexion couldn't help but greatly changed, because at that instant, he felt the threat of death. Not only was Zhang Tianyi's battle power extremely strong, the methods he grasped was no weaker than his. He was simply the most terrifying opponent Chu Feng had ever met in his life within the young generation. Chu Feng, back. In the moment of life and death, Zi Ling appeared in front of Chu Feng like a ghost. At that instant, a purple-colored aura surrounded Zi Ling's body. Although she was still in the first level of the Heaven Realm, she was many times stronger than before. Especially, her purple-colored huge bell. It already appeared from Zi Ling's offerings, and with divine power, she pressed towards Zhang Tianyi. You indeed grasp special methods, but you are still unable to block me. Facing Zi Ling, who used her full strength, Zhang Tianyi was still not afraid. As he madly laughed, a blue-colored aura appeared around his entire body. The blue-colored aura surrounded him, and like armor, protected him within. Quickly afterwards, the blue-colored aura had actually rapidly changed and became blue-colored flames. Correct, flames. The scorching feeling did indeed belong to flames, without a doubt. They were like flames that could burn everything, and they were surging around Zhang Tianyi's body. The blue-colored flames were unable to injure him because the blue-colored flames were originally one with him. They came out from inside his body. The most important thing was that as the blue-colored flames appeared, Zhang Tianyi's battle power had instantly rose again. The powerful feeling he gave off had already surpassed Zi Ling. This terrifying special power. It is possible that he is also a divine body? At that instant, Chu Feng and Zi Ling were both astonished because the special power of the blue-colored flames was indeed extremely similar to Zi Ling's unique purple-colored aura. They were similarly powerful, they were similarly terrifying, they similarly had overwhelming battle power, and they similarly grasped extremely combat techniques. It simply corresponded infinitely with a divine body. Martial God Azura Chapter 445 Forbidden Mysterious Technique No, not a divine body. It's a forbidden mysterious technique. Just at that time, Egi spoke. Forbidden Mysterious Technique? Chu Feng suddenly came to a realization. That's right. It is definitely a forbidden mysterious technique. Looking at him, he seems to have cultivated it for a very long time and has already proficiently grasped this mysterious technique. He is a lot more practiced in it than Yan Ruyu, and he can already nimbly grasp this special power. But, no matter how much better he cultivates the forbidden mysterious technique, there are differences in it and divine bodies in terms of essence. His power is very strong, but it's only because he cultivated the forbidden mysterious technique and not because he is a divine body. Egi explained. It seems like I'm right. You have indeed also cultivated a forbidden mysterious technique, but sadly, your cultivation is too weak. If you were also the same as me, being in the third level of the heaven realm, I would definitely not be able to defeat you. 
however, regrettably, you are only in the first level of the heaven realm. Thus, you will not be able to defeat me. Zhang Tani said while being full of confidence. Humph. Then let's see who's strong and who's weak. Zeling coldly snorted, then drove the purple-colored huge bell with full strength. As it crushed the air, it pressed its way towards Zhang Tani. A purple-colored aura surrounded the huge purple-colored bell. The might was simply incomparable. It was not something doable by martial skills. It was innate might. It was the power of a divine body. You overestimate yourself. However, Zhang Tani coldly smiled, then with a thought, the blue-colored flames in his body were like a volcano as they instantly exploded out. Roar. Finally, a furious roar resonated out and the blue-colored flames formed a huge blue-colored beast of flames in the air. Its large mouth opened and swallowed Zi Ling's purple-colored bell all at once. Ah! At that instant, Zi Ling's little face instantly turned incomparably white as if she received a heavy injury. Her body swayed and she almost fell from the sky. Luckily, Chu Feng's hands and eyes were quick and he caught Zi Ling. And seeing Zi Ling's painful appearance at that moment, Chu Feng was immediately enraged. Blue veins popped out as he roared at Zhang Tani, I will kill you. Junior Chu Feng, it's just a joke. There is no need to go so far as to truly have thoughts of killing right? However, just as the great battle entered the moment of life and death, what Chu Feng did not expect at all was Zhang Tani suddenly changing his face and kindly smiling at Chu Feng. At the same time Zhang Tani said those words, the blue-colored beast of flames in the air opened its mouth and released Zi Ling's purple-colored bell. At that instant, the face of Zi Ling, who was originally in pain, immediately turned quite better. And after releasing Zi Ling's purple-colored bell, the blue-colored beast of flames also started to disperse and finally, all of them returned to Zhang Tani's body and he had actually, truly, stopped his attacks. After doing all that, Zhang Tani flicked the Divine Wood Sword in his hand two times. This time, he didn't put the Divine Wood Sword in his Cosmo sack. He put it on his back. Seeing Zhang Tani suddenly retracting his attacks when he completely occupied the advantage, Chu Feng tightly furrowed his brows and alertly looked at Zhang Tani. He wanted to know what he was hiding for him to stop attacking. Because, Chu Feng knew that Zhang Tani was very strong. If he was also in the third level of the Heaven Realm, perhaps he wouldn't be afraid of Zhang Tani, but he could do nothing as his current cultivation was still too weak. No matter how much more furious he was, he would absolutely not be able to defeat Zhang Tani. At this moment, he could only endure. Junior Chu Feng, just now, I was only testing your and Lady Zi Ling's abilities. I must say that I am very pleased. The two of you are the same as my expectations. Indeed, you both grasp special methods. Lady Zi Ling's cultivation in the Forbidden Mysterious Technique is even more practiced than me, and she has simply neared the state of being one with it. I really admire her on that. As for you, Junior Chu Feng, you can actually directly climb into the first level of the Heaven Realm from the cultivation of the sixth level of the Profound Realm. I have to say that your method simply invokes my admiration from its strength. Right now, both of you are still very young. If, in the future, you reach my age, I believe that the two of you will definitely surpass the current me. Zhang Tani first clasped his hands towards Chu Feng and Zi Ling with an apologetic face, then only after did he kindly speak. At that very instant, the difference in Zhang Tani's attitude was like the difference in heaven and earth. It could be said to be a 180-degree turn. Before, he had fierce killing intent and his appearance was as if he was truly going to kill Chu Feng and Zi Ling. But now, his face was filled with kindness and the gaze he looked at Chu Feng and Zi Ling was as affectionate as looking at relatives. So, Senior Zhang, you were only testing us. I wonder then what business you have by waiting for us too in this place. Chu Feng asked, but he was still a bit cautious. He discovered that he truly could not see through Zhang Tani. He was still unable to confirm whether he was an enemy or an ally. 
He had to seriously observe his words and actions in order to be able to roughly be sure what kind of person he was. The reason why I waited here for you is, of course, because I want to cooperate with you. Zhang Tani lightly smiled, then quickly after, said, at first, Morong Yu challenged me, and he even said that if he lost, he would give his divine wood sword to me. But I could do nothing about the fact that after losing, not only did he not admit it, he even wanted to escape. In a moment of fury, I cut him down and took his divine wood sword away. But I never would have thought that it would even affect the Azure Dragon School, causing the Azure Dragon School seniors who have already died to receive humiliation that they shouldn't receive because of the disaster I stirred up. Right now, the Azure Dragon School is no longer existing, but I, Zhang Tiani, still see myself as a person from the Azure province as well as a disciple of the Azure Dragon School. I believe that you, Junior Chu Fong, are the same as me. So, I want to invite you two to hurry together to the Sword God Valley with me and make the Sword God Valley pay the price for their actions, and also let the people of the entire continent to know that even if only two people remain in my Azure Dragon School, we can still make the glory of the Azure Dragon School a thousand years ago reappear and exterminate his Sword God Valley. Zhang Tani said. Your strength is very strong. I believe that even those in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm will not necessarily be able to defeat you and you should have no problem to invade the Sword God Valley yourself. Why do you need to go with us too? Clearly, Zi Ling was even more distrustful towards Zhang Tani. Rather, currently, she was still filled with fury when facing Zhang Tiani. Haha, <laughs> Lady Zi Ling. No no no, to be more precise, I should call you sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, I know that you still feel resentment for my actions just now, but like I said, I just wanted to test your abilities. It was only a joke, so please forgive me if I offended you. Zhang Tiani was very smart and he saw Zi Ling's displeased emotion. He took the lead to apologize to her, then said afterwards to Zi Ling and Chu Feng. I am more familiar with the Sword God Valley than you two. Right now, there are at least fifteen Sword God Valley Heaven Realm experts and innumerable people in the Profound Realm. Of course, in our eyes, those Profound Realm guys are weak people who cannot even take a single blow from us. Even if there are a lot, they aren't enough to cause fear. The important ones are the 15 Heaven Realm Experts. Within the 15 Heaven Realm Experts, 10 of them are in the first level of the Heaven Realm, 2 are in the second level of the Heaven Realm, and 1 is in the third level of the Heaven Realm. There are two more. One is Morong Yu's father, the current head of the Sword God Valley. He has the cultivation of the fifth level of the Heaven Realm. The last one is the former head of the Sword God Valley the current old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. He can be said to be the strongest person in the Sword God Valley, having the cultivation of the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. Zhang Tani said. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 445 Forbidden Mysterious Technique No, not a divine body. It's a forbidden mysterious technique. Just at that time, Egi spoke. Forbidden Mysterious Technique? Chu Feng suddenly came to a realization. That's right. It is definitely a Forbidden Mysterious Technique. Looking at him, he seems to have cultivated it for a very long time and has already proficiently grasped this mysterious technique. He is a lot more practiced in it than Yan Ruyu, and he can already nimbly grasp this special power. But, no matter how much better he cultivates the Forbidden Mysterious Technique, there are differences in it and divine bodies in terms of essence. His power is very strong, but it's only because he cultivated the forbidden mysterious technique and not because he is a divine body. Egi explained. It seems like I'm right. You have indeed also cultivated a forbidden mysterious technique, but sadly, your cultivation is too weak. If you were also the same as me, being in the third level of the Heaven Realm, I would definitely not be able to defeat you. However, regrettably, you are only in the first level of the Heaven Realm. Thus, you will not be able to defeat me. Zhang Tiani said while being full of confidence. Humph. Then let's see who's strong and who's weak. 
Zi Ling coldly snorted, then drove the purple-colored huge bell with full strength. As it crushed the air, it pressed its way towards Zhang Tani. A purple-colored aura surrounded the huge purple-colored bell. The might was simply incomparable. It was not something doable by martial skills. It was innate might. It was the power of a divine body. You overestimate yourself. However, Zhang Tani coldly smiled, then with a thought, the blue-colored flames in his body were like a volcano as they instantly exploded out. Roar. Finally, a furious roar resonated out and the blue-colored flames formed a huge blue-colored beast of flames in the air. Its large mouth opened and swallowed Zi Ling's purple-colored bell all at once. Ah! At that instant, Zi Ling's little face instantly turned incomparably white as if she received a heavy injury. Her body swayed and she almost fell from the sky. Luckily, Chu Feng's hands and eyes were quick and he caught Zi Ling. And seeing Zi Ling's painful appearance at that moment, Chu Feng was immediately enraged. Blue veins popped out as he roared at Zhang Tani, I will kill you. Junior Chu Feng, it's just a joke. There is no need to go so far as to truly have thoughts of killing right? However, just as the great battle entered the moment of life and death, what Chu Feng did not expect at all was Zhang Tani suddenly changing his face and kindly smiling at Chu Feng. At the same time Zhang Tiani said those words, the blue-colored beast of flames in the air opened its mouth and released Zi Ling's purple-colored bell. At that instant, the face of Zi Ling, who was originally in pain, immediately turned quite better. And after releasing Zi Ling's purple-colored bell, the blue-colored beast of flames also started to disperse and finally, all of them returned to Zhang Tiani's body and he had actually, truly, stopped his attacks. After doing all that, Zhang Tani flicked the Divine Wood Sword in his hand two times. This time, he didn't put the Divine Wood Sword in his Cosmo sack. He put it on his back. Seeing Zhang Tani suddenly retracting his attacks when he completely occupied the advantage, Chu Feng tightly furrowed his brows and alertly looked at Zhang Tani. He wanted to know what he was hiding for him to stop attacking. Because, Chu Feng knew that Zhang Tani was very strong. If he was also in the third level of the heaven realm, perhaps he wouldn't be afraid of Zhang Tiani, but he could do nothing as his current cultivation was still too weak. No matter how much more furious he was, he would absolutely not be able to defeat Zhang Tiani. At this moment, he could only endure. Junior Chu Feng, just now, I was only testing your and Lady Zi Ling's abilities. I must say that I am very pleased. The two of you are the same as my expectations. Indeed, you both grasp special methods. Lady Zi Ling's cultivation in the Forbidden Mysterious Technique is even more practiced than me, and she has simply neared the state of being one with it. I really admire her on that. As for you, Junior Chu Feng, you can actually directly climb into the first level of the Heaven Realm from the cultivation of the sixth level of the Profound Realm. I have to say that your method simply invokes my admiration from its strength. Right now, both of you are still very young. If, in the future, you reach my age, I believe that the two of you will definitely surpass the current me. Zhang Tani first clasped his hands towards Chu Feng and Zi Ling with an apologetic face, then only after did he kindly speak. At that very instant, the difference in Zhang Tani's attitude was like the difference in heaven and earth. It could be said to be a 180-degree turn. Before, he had fierce killing intent and his appearance was as if he was truly going to kill Chu Feng and Zi Ling. But now, his face was filled with kindness and the gaze he looked at Chu Feng and Zi Ling was as affectionate as looking at relatives. So, Senior Zhang, you were only testing us. I wonder then what business you have by waiting for us too in this place. Chu Feng asked, but he was still a bit cautious. He discovered that he truly could not see through Zhang Tani. He was still unable to confirm whether he was an enemy or an ally. He had to seriously observe his words and actions in order to be able to roughly be sure what kind of person he was. The reason why I waited here for you is, of course, because I want to cooperate with you. Zhang Tani lightly smiled, then quickly after, said, at first, 
Moronyuk challenged me, and he even said that if he lost, he would give his divine wood sword to me. But I could do nothing about the fact that after losing, not only did he not admit it, he even wanted to escape. In a moment of fury, I cut him down and took his divine wood sword away. But I never would have thought that it would even affect the Azure Dragon School, causing the Azure Dragon School seniors who have already died to receive humiliation that they shouldn't receive because of the disaster I stirred up. Right now, the Azure Dragon School is no longer existing, but I, Jean Tiani, still see myself as a person from the Azure province as well as a disciple of the Azure Dragon School. I believe that you, Junior Chu Fong, are the same as me. So, I want to invite you two to hurry together to the Sword God Valley with me and make the Sword God Valley pay the price for their actions, and also let the people of the entire continent to know that even if only two people remain in my Azure Dragon School, we can still make the glory of the Azure Dragon School a thousand years ago reappear and exterminate his Sword God Valley. Zhang Tani said. Your strength is very strong. I believe that even those in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm will not necessarily be able to defeat you and you should have no problem to invade the Sword God Valley yourself. Why do you need to go with us too? Clearly, Zi Ling was even more distrustful towards Zhang Tani. Rather, currently, she was still filled with fury when facing Zhang Tiani. Haha, <laughs> Lady Zi Ling. No no no, to be more precise, I should call you sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, I know that you still feel resentment for my actions just now, but like I said, I just wanted to test your abilities. It was only a joke, so please forgive me if I offended you. Zhang Tiani was very smart and he saw Zi Ling's displeased emotion. He took the lead to apologize to her, then said afterwards to Zi Ling and Chu Feng. I am more familiar with the Sword God Valley than you two. Right now, there are at least 15 Sword God Valley Heaven Realm experts and innumerable people in the Profound Realm. Of course, in our eyes, those Profound Realm guys are weak people who cannot even take a single blow from us. Even if there are a lot, they aren't enough to cause fear. The important ones are the 15 Heaven Realm Experts. Within the 15 Heaven Realm Experts, 10 of them are in the first level of the Heaven Realm, 2 are in the second level of the Heaven Realm, and 1 is in the third level of the Heaven Realm. There are two more. One is Morongyu's father, the current head of the Sword God Valley. He has the cultivation of the fifth level of the Heaven Realm. The last one is the former head of the Sword God Valley the current old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. He can be said to be the strongest person in the Sword God Valley, having the cultivation of the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. Zhang Tani said.